Every month at the new moon, we begin a new emotional cycle, and we have the opportunity to reset our goals and intentions. The new moon in Cancer is July 20th at 1.32 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and this is the second new moon in Cancer. Remember, the first one was June 21st, and at that time we had a new moon in Cancer at zero degrees, the very, very beginning of the sign. Now we get this special opportunity to work on the same issues because the new moon is at 28 degree Cancer, the very end of the sign. When we have this special pattern, which is having a new moon in the same sign two months in a row, it points to the fact that there's something very powerful to learn. And in this case, it's learning about our emotions because Cancer is a water sign. But it's more than that because we are so involved in the very dynamic configuration right now going on with Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter in Capricorn. This new moon on July 20th is going to be in opposition to that trio of power, planetary energy in Capricorn. Let me explain. I believe that what we're really working on here is understanding how to be in charge of our own emotional reactions. That's the Cancer dynamic. And really, I'm going to use something I wouldn't normally talk about, and that is the F word. But I'm joking here. Really, I'm talking about the word flow because I don't, I don't use that other word on video and I don't usually use it on social media. But we're talking about flow. We're talking about faith. We're talking about being fluid. So that's three F words right in a row. And it is so important to think about this related to your own emotional reactions. Number one, can you calm yourself easily when you have an emotional reaction to something? Do you have good calming techniques? You know, when I talked about the new moon in June, I talked about learning how to nurture and comfort yourself. And that certainly was very important. And I hope you've been focused on that. But now we're looking at polishing these techniques, really polishing it so that it is very smooth and clear and, and powerful. Can you calm yourself when you need to? And when you are calm, when you are relaxed, you open up to the spiritual flow of energy. It's like fluid pouring through you. And that's really what is so important. And I'm saying this because when we get into August, we begin this super powerful period where transiting Mars and Aries will be squaring those Capricorn planets and the energy is sparky and jazzy and intense and a little prickly in many ways. Having these techniques of knowing how to calm yourself emotionally, knowing how to relax so that the energy from the universe can flow through you, and learning how to flow in general so that your instincts are strong and powerful and right at your fingertips. That's what's important with this new moon. What kind of emotional work have you been doing for the past month? starting with that June 21st new moon in Cancer. How has it developed? So that you are applying those skills every single day. You are not a victim to outside circumstances. Outside circumstances do not control your emotions. You do. And I know it's not easy. And I know during this time when there is so much going on in the world, we're going to be challenged. I guarantee you. We're going to be challenged for the next six months while Mars does this very jazzy pattern. But I also firmly believe we are up to the task of evolving to the next level emotionally. Being able to stay centered and calm and happy and peaceful and loving. So I bless you. I send you love and I wish you the very best for this very powerful new moon in Cancer, July 20th. Thank you. I'm Kathy Rose.